All right, so today we have a laser engraver, the Creality Falcon 2, you can see here. Uh, we're gonna open this up, learn how to use it, and then get to work using it on some car parts. So let's open this baby up. Man, pretty well packed, surrounded in foam. Nice. Here's this packing. An operation guide with super simple instructions, which is perfect for me because I'm not that smart. <laughs> so I need some more this. All right, so everything's pretty well, actually, really well packed, encased in foam. So for shipping, you know, this thing isn't going to get just break, isn't going to break in shipping unless it gets just manhandled and thrown around. So we're going to start emptying the contents here. So. Take all this stuff out and then put it together. That looks like a power, the power supply or something. Nice. We give up uh, some glasses. The feet. Okay. Looks like this comes out. Alright, so I'm going to read these instructions and then get right back once I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I actually have these upside down. Alright, time to use my reading abilities. Place the protective plate, honeycomb work table, optional, and processing material. Adjust the focal length of the laser module. Oh man, I'm already lost. Focal point laser module. Work with TF card controlled by the PC. So wait, this must be instructions once it's already built. Okay. Please assemble the machine. Tutorials are in the user manual and TF card. Quick guide. Please be pictures. All right, there's pictures, thank God. All right, so here's a instruction or pictures to make sure we have all our stuff. Looks like we do. Okay. So I'm gonna flip this over. <laughs> and so it looks like I can install these feet at any spots. I'm just going to install them in this metal one in case my workbench isn't big enough. So four feet with rubber stop. So if you're putting this on something that's nice, like a nice wood finish, it won't just have metal digging in, ruin your surface. Plus the rubber will help it stable and hopefully dampen any vibration or movement of the machine. Alrighty, now let's flip this back over. So here's this part. And now unplug the rubber plug this thing. Alright, it shows this on this side. So I'm gonna move it. Ugh. 
Okay, this plug plugs in right here. It looks like. Mint. And then it says to unplug the rubber plug in the air nozzle of the air pump and connect the silicone tube from the machine to the air nozzle of the air pump. Shows a guy pulling this off. And then taking this tube here and plugging that tube on. And it's connected. Three is install the laser module, install it onto the bracket and lock it with the thumb screw on the right. So that actually looks like this. Please read the security instruction statement and the user manual carefully. All right, so we're going to install this laser module here. It's super nice because all the stuff has very clear pictures. So like, I don't know what a laser module is, but I can read this and look at a picture and the picture is super clear and has this. So now I know that this is a laser module. You can see it there. So the laser must come out of this bottom piece here. That's pretty cool. Yeah, look, uh, I can't read that far. Laser something, I don't know. So I backed these out already, unscrewed those. It's like a, kind of looks like a Picatinny rail type thing. So it just slides down in this slot and you can position it anywhere you want. But just for now, I'm gonna lock it right here. Just not a lot of force. I'm just doing a little bit so we can move it later. And then step four, Connect the laser module with the adapter board and fix the laser module cable and the silicone tube with the cable management clips. So they're talking about these here. So this tube, how do they have it? Oh geez. But it plugs in there for the air. Does that look accurate? It's supposed to be able to go back and forth. We can adjust it later if we need it. And then this, where does it go? Shows it plugging in right here. Okay. So this. plugs in like that. Okay, so that's what the second thing is. So the instructions actually show this tube disconnected like that. And then that plugged in, that plugged in, that plugged in. And then we're learning together. So wrap that up, undo this other Velcro one. Nice, now it looks just like the picture. It's just like the simulator. Voila, nice. See, I'm telling you man, just like the picture. I just followed that, super easy. So, simple enough man. I'm just a wrencher, kinda turns a wrench. Okay, so organize the laser module and cable and the silicone tube with the cable straps. Oh, look at that. I'm actually an overachiever. That was step five. So that's how good pictures are, man. So now that's actually it. It's done, according to this. So now it says preparation. Uh, carefully read the content in the security statement again. Reread it. Stack the protective metal plate honeycomb work table optional and proceed proceed oh no and process man I'm, english was not my strong uh like grammar in english in school any processed materials in sequence so it shows they put down this is your metal work table here we'll open this baby up like 
Okay, so before you do any work, you'd put this down. We're just learning it right now, and then we're gonna do some test material later on. So, like I said, I haven't, uh, I read a little bit ahead, <laughs> but, so I haven't downloaded the software or anything, but we're going to get in to the next portion just for uh, demonstrations. Once again, I'm referencing these pictures. So it's, they send you these pieces of wood and they send you this thing. Don't lose that, that's highly important. I'll show you it in person. So also, um, they give you these legs. One second. So these are leg extensions. They're just screwed together, but you can see each rib spot, it'll lift it up that much higher than it currently is. So that's definitely something to not lose. But okay, this looks like a staircase. It's actually a gauge. And if you read it, it says engrave slash cutting thickness of ba basswood, basswood, I don't know, basswood maybe. Once again, English language, man. Uh, then cutting thickness, 4.4 4 to 6 millimeters or 6 millimeters or greater. So this goes, you put your, whatever you're using, you put it down and then set this up. So loosen these and it's, it's like a measuring gauge. So different levels. So it gets the laser closer or further away so that you don't, you can get a proper reading and you just tighten these mounts and then remove it. So we're going to learn how to use this and kind of get, um, I don't know, comfortable with it using the exact wood that, the exact wood that they sent us. They sent us three of these pieces of wood with it. And I have, I just found it the other day, rummaging around for uh, scrap metal. I found an old piston. I have no idea what it's to, and there's only one, so who knows? It looks like it's to a car, but it could be from a dirt bike. Oh God, the baby. But uh, I'm gonna try to engrave it. It's aluminum. I'm gonna try to burn on the top of it and see if I can. <laughs> but we gotta learn to walk before we can run. So that's what my baby's doing right now. Learning to walk, but. <laughs> so you can see this here the way it is we're going to download the software that it says and then kind of get used to it and just kind of toy with it and then come back to this and take you guys with us on our first ever uh lasering my cats are going nuts man today tonight's crazy but <laughs> all right we're gonna download that software and get comfortable with it all right, so I transferred it into my spare bedroom with my PC, um, my wife's MacBook, the stuff we decided to just use the desktop. We downloaded Laser Gerbil. It's a free software uh, for the laser machine. And I got it powered up, plugged into the desktop with this cord that's provided. It's a USB on one end, then like a USB uh, C, I believe, on this end. And if you don't have one or anything, it comes with this adapter here as well. So this is provided in it. And and another thing here is it has a like an SD card slot. And this is also provided. This here. So this is a USB on one end, and then it has this device, which is oops. A uh, little SD card. So, and then that all that stuff was found in this little toolkit they give you. They give you this little toolkit with extra hardware and everything. And this stuff is located in here, as well as the key. So this key turns it on and off. There's also a power switch here, but you have to have this turned. So we powered it on. And we are about to uh, attempt, we're about to attempt our first thing, so. All right, guys, so uh, we got this. 
Uh, there's lots of tutorials on there how to do this, and you guys can follow those. But if you're anything like me, you're not too tech savvy, but luckily for me, I have a wife who is. So she hooked me up and did the electronic computer stuff and was able to do this. So I'm going to be the take the credit here and press a button <laughs> and we're going to see it create. So let's do it. Which one? Up there. Oh, the little green one? Mm -hmm. Run program. Oh my gosh. Engraving is about to start. Please wear your safety goggles. All right. If it lights my table on fire, this will be something. It burned it. All right, take two. We burnt right through the woods, so we reduced power and lifted the laser up. But I also went and got a fire extinguisher, so I'm going to click this button again. We're going to try it out. Safety goggles, everyone. All right, it doesn't look like it's burning through. Probably just gonna look like a charred piece of wood. Take three. Jesus. All right, so it's been a couple days since we did this. It was like 10, like, it was like 10.30 at night. But uh, you can see here, our third, or first attempt here, what, second attempt there, third attempt, fourth attempt, and then our fifth attempt here, we printed the OG, the OG hard performance logo, like the first one I ever made. So uh, just going to keep working with it and getting used to it. They give you actually a lot of material because I've got two more of these that are not used at all. So I'm going to keep going at it and get one nice. But this is pretty cool because there's a lot that I can do with this. And I eventually want to do like custom like pistons as like trophies or uh, do something. There's a lot I have plans for. But <laughs> first I'm going to keep at this. But we're super. Oh, I broke it. But I'm super excited, I, mean, I can't hit it that hard, <laughs> it's flimsy, but super excited to be able to laser engrave and cut things too. Like my wife just got something where it's a picture of a hand, yeah I believe it's a hand, and it's cut out of wood like this with a laser machine. Not only is it cut, but then it also has like the fingerprint, not fingerprints, but like I don't know, where your hand bends, burned onto it, so it's, someone did it with one of these machines. So I want to be able to get that good and be able to make some custom cool stuff. It is pretty sweet and it's extremely easy to figure out. The hardest thing is the software to figure out that's separate from the machine, but we just followed someone else's YouTube video and was able to figure out and then test with it. So, thanks for watching and stay tuned.